So this project is going to replace these lights. That's a common uh, retrofit on older tractor. Uh, the reason I'm going to change them because they are incandescent light. They are not even halogen lights. And the other point is that the, uh, there are something like near uh, 35 watts, which means in 12 volt, 3 amp each, total of 6 amps. That's not a big load, but actually the alternator on that quarter engine is capable of 15 amps at full throttle. That's why I'm going to change them because when I'm not running at full throttle, I'm discharging the battery. I plan on using that tractor for snow cleaning, some uh, small cleaning around the house. And as you know, in Canada, it's dark at 4 p.m. So most of the time I'm snow plowing in the dark. So I'm going to need some uh, low consumption light for uh, lighting my work in winter time. I, I, I don't want to uh, run at full throttle all the time. So enjoy. That would be a good thing to do such uh, small works inside of the garage because actually it's about noon and it's already near 90 Fahrenheit so maybe some of you are used to that kind of weather but here in Canada it's kind of warm and especially where I live it's really seldom that we see that high temperature so I'm not used to that and I'm sweating the next thing I will be doing is to start the engine. I'm going to rev this up. I'm going to use the light. And you will see on the amp meter what it does. Actually, the needle is perfectly on zero. This is only the angle of view you get. So actually, the switch on and it drags maybe 7 amps, it's perfectly in line with what I, what, what I uh, estimated. Now you get a close view of the amp meter, switch off, switch on, lights on. So basically it drags about 6 or in that range, lights on, power on. So, I just removed the clips that hold them down and unplug the uh, connector. This one, it will be easier to uh, hook up the new lights to that harness. So this is the really simple style on the glass with connectors. I always keep those old parts because you never know if you have to sell the tractor to a connector or something like that they want to have the original pieces as much as possible. Now for the new one, diameter is really close too, but it's too big. It almost fit there, but it doesn't. I could have to remove all that uh, system, attachment system, but yeah, if I do that, there there's nothing left to hang on. It's only thin metal. There's nothing else that I could grab on. And these lights come really close to that gas tank and battery there that you can see. So it's kind of a tight spot. So I have to um, make a system that they will fit. I'm not going to destroy these uh, attachments. 
So I have to fit these lights in those holes and yet the gas tank is really near. On this side I've got two hinge and a half maximum. So looking at these lights, they are two inch already. And there's a connector like this. So I have to come up with some kind of solution where I don't want to destroy the inner uh, support brackets. So I paid $40 for these lights. They are kind of cheap. I'm not expecting them to last for decades. So I want to keep that part as original as possible and rather modify this light. So looking at different situation, looks like the fins have the same diameter near to that circle. So I'm going to fit them over like this. They are going to stick out from the uh, outside of the, uh, the hood. The only thing that will stick out is this part, maybe a pick out of an inch. And the modification I have to do to the light is to cut that up, out to make sure that it clears the opening. So the diameter is roughly 4 inches and the outside of the fins are 4 and uh, 16 of an inch. So it doesn't miss that much to fit in. So I'm going to buff or sand a little bit of the uh, fins outside going to cut this off and then at the back the screw holes that I could manage to do some kind of new brackets behind to keep them against the frame. Now well, that's pretty much like if there was no bracket there next thing I have to do is to remove material on each fence to make it closer to 4 inches than 4 and 1 16 of an inch. It's going to go well because it's really soft material. So like I mentioned previously, I don't want to modify the inner system to attach the lights because basically this is a $40 Chinese lamp as opposed to a few thousand dollar US made tractor. So here's my priority, this tractor, not this lamp. So I'm not going to miss the tractor because of one lamp that might last a year or two, you never know. With Chinese stuff, it's always a surprise. So it should go this way. So it's coming along, it's yet a little bit too big. I'm going to put a new pass on it to make it fit, but oh, it's really close. One more pass. So what I've done is to uh, grind these fins all around. Also, I did remove the, um, <laughs> the support there. I was looking where it was and just painted uh, the wall uh, ground metal. So it does fit correctly. So now I have to find a way to make this fit on the other side. But while they are still on hand, I'm going to weld those wires. That's the old connector going at the bottom of the uh, hood near the hinge. So I'm going to connect these to the lights. So this supply enough land that from one side I can reach the other side. So that's perfect. So they're going to be connected together like this. So every time I do a project, I do have a box, a project box, in which I put all the related uh, items I need for the project. I put more than less. And this way I have all my stuff not sitting on the, the top of the hood, but rather in the box. So this way, 
I don't go back and forth to the toolbox. It's all there. So now that's exactly the kind of mistake I make all the time. I did that, that, that Y junction, but the light I have to go from the other side. One is good, but what about the other? <laughs> so I did add some quick connectors. So I have to figure a way to clamp it behind. I'll use probably those two threaded holes on each side with a bracket. So on this side, the bolt is pushing against this, uh, the bottom of this hole, but on this side, it's going uh, deeper. So I'm not sure I'm going to reach the bottom of it. There's only one way to know it. Well, actually, it does seem to be holding well. There's some slight movement, but it's not too bad. So I was not quite sure that the light did clear the top of the gas tank. I'm going to hold the phone like this and close the hood. Could not stick my head there, but the iPhone is capable. Yeah, there's enough clearance. That's perfect. Here's the result. It's not looking the 70s like it was before, but actually it needs to be useful in the first place. So let's try this. Looking good. So next thing is to confirm that the uh, current this light will draw is uh, less than one amp or something like that. I expect this to be in that range. Switch on, lights on, not too much. I started smashing, I will see how much rev I have to do to uh, put it back to zero.